beautiful day for a little stroll. Get me some some sunlight. Whatever that does for you. Besides give me sunburn. It's pretty cool. Temperature wise. It was about 60 when I came to work this morning. So trying to recover from the little bit of the con Marie I tried to do over the weekend. I don't think it went as good as it could have as far as progress goes. Um, I did have help from my husband and daughter, which I'm very grateful for, but I don't, if, you, if you go back and, and maybe you noticed uh, the daughter kind of disappeared. She phased herself out which is kind of typical for kids, I think, you know. So, I got to give props to her because I really honestly didn't even notice until I went back and was editing the videos. Didn't even know she was gone. And I was in my insane state of mind. So, I was probably bitching so bad that, you know, she was like, screw this, I'm out. <laughs> and I do not blame her. Uh, my husband, bless his heart. I got some work to do with him. The uh, coat hanger. Yeah, it did not make its way to the laundry room. It's uh, sitting right outside the door to the craft room on top of a, a plastic bin. Uh, right beside the cookbook. The cookbook didn't make its way into the kitchen with the other cookbooks. Uh, so basically everything that he carried out um, that I'm keeping is like all just thrown in our living room now. So now that room is all torn up, but I'm not even done with the craft room. Maybe, maybe halfway. So uh, the hoard is just spreading. I'm going to have no choice but to go through. I got, I'm going to have to get rid of stuff. I just don't have the room to keep it. And that, that's my problem. The things that I have an emotional attachment to. Like, why is, it, why is that so hard? Okay, guys. Like, say, for example, one time I was given a plant. A, like a real live plant. I don't know why somebody trusted me with a plant. But they did. Um, and it, was, it started dying. Right? Well, I don't know how to recuperate a plant, you know. I've got brown thumbs over here. Um, so I was like, well, let me just throw the plant away. But then the little voice in my head goes, <laughs> but that's a living being. You're going to throw it in the trash, but it's alive. Oh, geez. Like, what? I don't... What? It's dying. I can't save it. Why keep it? <sighs> I cried when I threw away some pictures. I did not know who was in these pictures. Like the people were not friends of mine. I don't know how I even got them. But I guess it's like that's somebody's memory. Somebody thought these people were important enough to take a picture of them. <laughs> I got the picture somehow. Doesn't mean the hill of beans to me. So I don't need to keep it. Threw it away. I cried. Seriously, I've got to get a grip. <sighs> so anyway. Ended up working in the room a few hours on Saturday. Then went to my mom's for a little bit. She's uh, recovering from being ill for a month or two. She got really, really sick. She was in the hospital. Then she got moved to ICU. Then she got moved to a rehab facility. Uh, there's the highway again. That's when I come under work. Uh, but anyway, she made it home from the rehab facility and she's a lot better. She's not back to her old self, but um, it's much improved. So anyway, why am I talking about... Oh, because I went over there to... Um, to put hair color on her hair for her. So, had to go over there for a little bit. 
then went back home. By then it was, I don't know, it was dinner time. So we ate and meatball subs. Uh, then I was just tired. It's like I lost all my steam. Once once I got diverted from the task at hand, you can forget, forget me going back to do more. And Sunday, Sunday morning, got up, ran some errands, grocery shopping and whatnot. Um, did laundry when I got back home. That kind of thing. And husband had to take the daughter to, to her mom's. Um, she's staying with her for most of her spring break. So he was gone for a couple of hours. So what I should have done is some, you know, more work in that room. But I didn't. Of course. I worked on my diamond painting. I needed to de-stress. I needed to do something fun. But let me tell you, man, all those freaking yellows, oh, God. Trying to learn that multi-placer. And I think I'm doing pretty good with it. It's my first time. I'm using a six-placer. Um, so it's like I can do every other line. But when I go back to try to fill in, I have to do them singles because the multi is too fat to fit down in there. But that's okay keeps it interesting for me oh. don't get run right over here that's the only thing about walking on this road <sighs> there's a spider on me nice uh, it's not really busy with traffic but I don't know sometimes there's these really big like farm equipment truck thingamabobbers that come down here Cause that's a that's like some chemical place uh, or something I don't know and I'm still trying to figure out why the hell I get so winded I'm not exuding a lot of force or what's the what's the phrase I'm not uh, I'm not exercising hard I'm not speed walking it's just a leisurely pace oh there, there's one of those words people say differently I say leisurely. Some people probably say leisurely. Hmm. Uh, but I was thinking back about it. It's like, well, number one, I'm out of shape. Number two, I'm very overweight. Um, but the third thing I thought, and I hadn't thought about it in a long time, is I quit smoking. Like eight months ago. Quit cold turkey. Haven't had one since, except... For this one one evening that was very fun with me and some friends and a bottle and a half of wine that I drank all by myself. And I guess I got drunk enough I wanted a cigarette. So I think I smoked five cigarettes. Maybe it was four. Uh, but I thought I was going to die the next day. So I haven't had any more since then. My husband vapes. He can't quit cold turkey. But I'm glad he's not doing the cigarettes anymore so at least he doesn't stink um anyway maybe if I start doing these little strolls I'm gonna commit to first at least once a week but maybe I'll bump it up to twice a week depending on the weather see how that goes oh which reminds me um there's there I am hey uh Oh, there's somebody back there doing some work. Can you see him? I don't know what they're doing. That's where our dumpster used to go. I don't know what he's doing. Hiding the body? Hmm. Um, I'm going to miss, unfortunately, another weekend of lives. Which that really bums me out. Um, but i got to go out of town Friday. My grandmother passed away last... It was last July, actually. Um, and we're finally able to have her funeral this weekend, nine months later. Um, but it's because she's going to be buried in Arlington National Cemetery in D.C. with my grandfather. So we had to wait for the government to give us the green light for that. So that's what I'll be doing. Traveling in some really, really hectic traffic. And 
yeah it's gonna be rough I miss her I miss her dearly but um you know at least I'm I'm glad knowing she's in the she's at peace and giving my grandfather hell so anyway I'm sure some more stuff about her will come up as I go through cleaning more of that room because a lot of the stuff in there is stuff I got from her so all right well I suppose I need to get back into work I mean I don't, I don't really want to but I guess I need something to drink because I'm starting to trip over my tongue so hope everybody's having a great Monday hope you have a good week do some crafty stuff be kind to people try to do something nice for somebody else huh? see you next time bye guys